Here we okay, go. so um, the next lesson we're going to be talking about is the, the flow of energy from uh, the side where you have plants, and then the rabbit comes and eats the plants, and then you want to have a snake that will come and eat the rabbit, and then you would have a hawk that would now catch the snake and eat it. So in biology, we refer to that interaction as uh, a food chain where energy flows in one direction, and as you go up the food chain, that amount of energy is decreased, meaning uh, the plants, which gets the energy from the sun, has the most. A rabbit will come and eat the plant, but it does not get as much energy that the plant originally had because the rabbit is running around, it's eating the plant, so it's also burning energy. So when the rabbit eats that plant, it has less energy. When the snake comes and eats the rabbit, same thing. The snake has to catch the rabbit, it has to squeeze it, and then swallow it. It's burning energy by doing that. So that energy is also decreased. So by the time the hawk gets the snake, the hawk only has just a minimal amount of energy to keep it alive for that day. So what the assignment is, as follows. Your job is to pick an ecosystem, desert, arctic, rainforest, and get a uh, food chain interaction going and tell us what's happening in the food chain, put it on a pyramid, and explain to us why the energy decreases as you go up that food pyramid or food chain. And I think that will uh, highlight why a lion has to eat 400 pounds of meat a day in order to survive. Okay? I'll get back to you guys next week on it. Good luck.